So I just went to Dollar Tree. My goddaughter called me and asked me for an abundance spell she can do to attract abundance and stuff to her tattoo business. And I'm so proud of her. So baby, I'm proud of you. I love you. Anyway, and I wanted to show y'all what y'all can get from Dollar Tree. And this is like, I would say, I do everything the first time. So you don't need all of this. So this is for love. This is for money and protection, okay? Got it. So we have two candles. One will be for protection. I have pink Himalayan sea salt and I have a salt and pepper so we can have some crushed black pepper and some regular salt. Garlic powder. Pumpkin spice, oregano, cloves, ground cinnamon, chili powder, cayenne, thyme, and some glitter. That's all you need for your beginner stash, for you to be able to do protection work and for you to do conjuring of money and love. The only thing I would say I'm missing from Dollar Tree is catnip and you can buy that from Dollar Tree. I forgot to walk down the pet aisle and grab some catnip. With that being said, let's get into the first spell you should be doing when you first start conjuring. That should be a protection spell. Do not come out and start doing all type of wild stuff and thinking you about to conjure love and conjure money. And all. No, protect yourself, cleanse yourself, cleanse your environment because you don't wanna conjure and have a bunch of craziness happening. Because what will happen is if your energy is not clean and clear, if your environment is not clean and clear, and whatever you're conjuring is going to come with a lot of issues, and you don't want that, okay? So what I'm doing first is I'm peeling off the stickers on the candle. Yes, Papa. That's my little grandson. <laughs> okay. If you get the paper that's kind of left on like that, just go run this underwater and it'll wash right off and you can just uh, take a little sponge or something and just scrub it off. It's really not that big of a deal. Or you can just put some water on it and take some scissors and scrub the glue off. It'll come right off. After you do that, you wanna spray it down with your type, any type of cleansing spray. If you don't have a cleansing spray, you can use sage, you can use a blunt, you can use any type of smudge stick, Palo Santo, whatever you have, and just smudge your candle. So I'm smudging with abundant spray that's made with Florida water and a few other things. If you want the recipe, join the Patreon. So now we need a permanent black marker. They also sell those at Dollar Tree. And what you want to do is write cleansing and protection three times on the candle. All right, cleansing and protection three times. Then at the top of the candle, you wanna write your name and birthday. The bottom of the candle, you wanna write your name and birthday. And at the base of the candle here, you can write your name and birthday Now, with a pen or any type of sharp object, they have those little, uh, you can get anything, a pen. And I would like for you to put cleansing and protection in the top of the candle and then write your name and birthday is here as well, okay? Okay. 
And you can just scrape the rest of the wax that's left there back into the candle. You don't need to take that with you. Let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing you're going to want to do after you've done that is add a little bit of olive oil. You can get olive oil at Dollar Tree too, but you should be able to find any type of oil in your home. If you have any oil, just use it. Even if you don't have olive oil, if you have vegetable oil, just use that, okay? Don't make that big of a deal of it. Put a few drops in your candle. But if you're, if you're able to use olive oil, use olive oil, but you can use any oil for protection spell. And we have our oil nice and nicely in there. Not too much oil. You don't want to drown your wick. Just put a few drops, maybe about 10 drops of oil. And I think 10 is a lot, but 10 drops of oil should go in there. Now, because this is our first time opening all of these packs, you will have to cleanse and smudge everything you're using here as well. Okay. So I'm going to take my smudge spray and I'm just going to cleanse and smudge everything. Cleansing the negative energy off of everything. I'm going to cleanse my loves, my money stuff too. All right, now that we have that on here, let's go ahead and start dressing our candle. We're going to start with the salt. put a little bit in your hand that's too much okay so you don't even need that much salt but we're just going to go with it put it in your left hand right hand goes over it and you're going to say in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit we invoke this salt to bring cleansing purification banishing of all negative energy all energy that is sent to us with harm all thoughts negative intent anything that is meant to hold us back we are using this salt to cleanse and banish it from our life thank you father okay and what you're going to do is take a few sprinkles and just put a little bit of salt in the candle okay We're gonna do the same thing with the garlic powder. Put a little bit of garlic powder in your hand. Hand over it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I bless this garlic powder to bring cleansing and protection from all negative energy, negative spirits, negative thoughts, negative vibration, anything negative that could be sending that anyone could be sending our way or any anything that could be coming our way. I bless this garlic to protect and cleanse from any negative energy and negative entity that could be coming, negative people. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There you go. And always include yourself. You're very powerful. You are a God. So you do the name of the Father. Well, I do the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and myself. Okay? I don't discount myself, baby. My energy is what's really putting this spell together. Now we're going to add some clothes. Clove is great for banishing and protecting and cleansing, but it also keeps the spell for a long time. So what we want to do is, again, pray over this clove in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and myself. Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and add the clove. I'm going to put some black pepper, which I feel is essential. Now, honestly, if you wanted to just do this with salt and pepper, you can. And it'll actually be pretty powerful, depending on how much pepper you add. But 
because there are different levels, different levels, and as you move up, you'll need to start adding more, okay? Black pepper. And with the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, and myself. Thank you, God. All right. Go ahead and add your black pepper. Cayenne. I am allergic to cayenne. I don't even really want to touch it today. But I'll put a few sprinkles in. I just grabbed that just to show y'all I'm not opening up another cayenne. I'll put a few sprinkles. That's it. I, I cannot. I don't even want to open up another cayenne. Crushed red peppers. Same thing. Chili powder. Ooh, look at it. Burning my nose already. Lord have mercy. Cayenne, why you do it to me like that, dog? Lord. Lord. Chili powder, same thing. I'm gonna just put the chili powder in here and pray over it because I don't want it on my hands. Before you handle cayenne pepper, the crushed red peppers and chili powders, put some gloves on. Don't put it on your skin. Okay, so now that you have this set, what you want to do, this is your candle as it's dressed, you want to get a knife or something and clear your wick. And when I say clear your wick, I mean take the knife or the back of the spoon or whatever you're using and push the herbs away from the wick. This is very important. You want it to be like that, around the wick. Nothing touching the wig. Give the wig space, okay? Once you do that, take an incense, which they also sell at Dollar Tree. Any type of incense, patchouli, whatever they have. You can just buy any type. You just want some type of smoke. If you don't have smoke or you don't want to be around any smoke, take whatever crystals you may have and just put it to the base of the crystal if you have any protection crystals. Um, or if you don't have any of those, you can take some salt. This will help protect it also. And just make a small ring around your spell with your salt. Just like that. Okay. And sit with your candle. Pray with your candle and then light your candle. Make sure that you're not rushing this spell. You don't want to be speeding through it. You want to just take your time and light it. And when you light her, try to light her with a match. If you don't have a match, don't make that big, a big deal. But if you do have a match, try to light her with a match. And when you light her, boom, you sit with her, you watch it burn. And that is your first spell that you should be doing. Now, if you want to learn any more beginner witch tips, I invite you to please join my Patreon. I have beginner courses, middle courses, and advanced spells that you can learn. And you can join the community. We do live lessons and all of that great stuff on there. Also, instead of you going and buying all of this from Dollar Tree, you can check out my website at insightbytesh.com and grab a beginner witch kit where all of this is included. Candles and herbs and resins and crystals and all types of good stuff. Incense and even this type of tray that you can make a little altar and all that good stuff. So check it out. All right. I love you. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, my loves.